We now return to Janine Garofalo and Mark Ruffalo in Garofaruffalo. Turn it off, Chris. I don't even want to know what that is. Your father has returned. Yeah! Oh, Peter! How were all your business trips? Oh, exemplary, Chris. I don't understand what either of those words mean. One of them was Chris. Peter, you seem different. That's right, Lois. I live the life of the mind now. My brain is awash with theorems and profundity and abstractions that I can pontificate upon at length. Brian's a wolf cat. Peter, you sound so refined. Are you intelligent now? Affirmative. That means yes. Does that please you? It does, Peter. Well, it should. After all, knowledge is the ultimate aphrodisiac. Shall we away for relations? I'm not sure what you're saying, but let's hump. Affirmative. 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 Oh, my God! Affirmative! Wow, Peter, that was great. It was. Sorry I arrived early. That's okay. And sorry about the bedspread. That was about a week's worth of arrive. Mom, Dad, the TV's broken! Actually, Chris, I got rid of our television. This is our new bookshelf, and I think you'll find it has more channels than any TV we've ever owned. I want to watch The Walking Dead! Then I shall read to you from Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. I want to watch New Girl. Perhaps you'd like to hear about Jane Eyre, who felt quite the new girl at Rochester's Thornfield Hall. How about Game of Thrones? Instead, I shall read to you from... Game of Thrones. Oh, finally, another reader in the family. You know, these are some of my favorite books and authors. Oh, what are you reading right now? Oh, boy. Well, I'm, I mean, I'm sort of between books right now. Yeah? What was the last thing you read? He's got you on the ropes now. Well, I, I'm actually rereading a lot of stuff. Yeah? Like what? Just tap out. Uh, the classics, you know? Going back to the, uh... Basics, really. <laughs> Words on the printed page. <laughs> Thank you, Steve Gutenberg. <laughs> right? <laughs> what is this, oak? Oh, I don't even think it's oak. Peter, I can't get over the way you've transformed yourself. How'd you do it? Well, Lois, some of it came from books, some came from museums, and honestly, a lot of it just came from travel. Uh, hey, excuse me, I need to rent a car. Uh, preferably one where the radio is stuck on NPR. Here you go. Hello, it's me. I am returning. How is the car? Coastal and superior. I never knew whisper talking was so smart. And how will you be paying for your rental, sir? I will pay you with stories of my abusive father set to dissonant flute. I was seven when he first came home drunk. A child should sleep on his bed, not under it. Hey, what are you listening to? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm learning Sanskrit. You know, an ancient tongue can be as titillating as a young one. Peter, what gives? Ever since you had all those business trips, you've been acting weird. Pity a man in familiar places who yet feels like a stranger. You... you're the dick who wrote that in the bathroom. Indeed. Being smart and cultured is so lonely. Now I know why Oscar Wilde turned to alcoholism and bone inhalation. Gentlemen, as they say in Sanskrit, shubha prabhatam. <laughs> you know, it's weird. Shuba per bottom is my poor name. What? Yeah, first pet in the street you grew up on. You had a pet named Shuba? Oh, yeah. Old Shuba was a tough pooch. He was feared by everyone up and down per bottom drive. You have a very weird past. All right. If this is to be a smart family, we will have to learn not to giggle at smart things that sound dirty but are not. Balzac. <laughs> <laughs> Homo erectus. <laughs> Spotted dick. <laughs> the results have been disappointing. I always thought spotted dick had something to do with Morgan Freeman. <laughs>